Meanwhile, there is another animal cruelty investigation unfolding tonight in the East Valley, this time at a home in Gilbert. Team 12's Bianca Bono speaking to the owner of a dog rescue who says she's taken hundreds of dogs from the breeder in an effort to help the animals. Guys, since February, the orphanage dog rescue says they've taken around 400 dogs from this breeder and many of them were in bad shape. He smelled uh, as a, though he lived in his feces. Andrea Andrews with the orphanage dog rescue describing the first dog she ever got from the breeder who lived at this Gilbert home. Some of them I saw posted for free. Some of them I saw posted for $100. And when was this? Uh, back in February. Concerned there were more dogs that needed care. She continued to communicate with the breeder. So she and other rescues took as many dogs as they could. We would then bring them back here and begin washing them, grooming them, vaccinating them, find wonderful foster homes and get them homes. Andrea says many were covered in feces or had burns from sitting in urine for long periods of time. But in early September, Andrea said she received a dog with the worst condition she had seen yet. I did get a dog that had a um, large hole in her neck. I got her on September 10th and she went to the vet on September 11th. On September 13th, Gilbert police responding to the home off Ray Road and found the tenants were moving out. Police were told the animals had all been rehomed. But 10 days later, police went back finding dozens of dogs on the property, some needing medical attention. Andrea's volunteers getting access to the property, capturing photos of the home's condition. What was the house like? Um, beyond horrific. Police seizing 18 of the dogs, placing them into the care of the Arizona Humane Society, leaving the rest at the property. Police say they have an active animal cruelty investigation. Please leave your message. 12 News trying to speak with the breeder by phone. We're not identifying her because she's not facing charges. I don't believe she should own dogs. As for Andrea, she says the recent East Valley animal cruelty investigations make it clear lawmakers need to make a change. There should be laws for the amount of dogs that you can have on your property. And Gilbert police say they're working with the Humane Society to determine whether they'll recommend charges against the breeder. In the meantime, many of the dogs rescues have taken from the property are still up for adoption. You can find more information about them on our website, 12news.com. We're in Gilbert, Bianca Bono, 12 News.